Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And this is one of my snow plows. It's a Power VXT Boss. It's got the plastic right here. Uh, don't ask me why I got the plastic one. It's just the one I bought. I don't know. It's a V plow, so it'll scoop and angle backwards and go left and right, and do all kind of things. And this right here is the cutting edge for them. And the cutting edge will come off and you have to keep an eye on this because you don't want it to get close to the mold board this is this is what they refer to as a mold board this piece here it's kind of like on a motor grader it it's the part of the snow plow that's going to stay with the snow plow when you take the the cutting edge off and you can see it's got the holes for the bolts right here and when you when you when you don't pay attention to this and you wear the cutting edge down and you cut into the mold board that's a big time no-no because then you have to replace all this uh I, the, the plastic will come off but you would have to replace this frame which has the mold board as part of it we don't want to do that uh mucho expensive so we keep an eye on this and I'm I'm down to about a quarter an inch of blade left and I don't like to go any further than that. Some folks may push it a little further than that, but I'm not going to. I don't take those chances. So uh, I'm gonna change this blade out and show you kind of what I do right here. And of course, if you push snow, you already know how to do this stuff. I'm just looking for an excuse to make a video. And you can see right here on the back side and that over on this side it might be about a half an inch this is on the outside of the wing but as you go back down closer to the center of the plow it's down to uh that's going to be right at a quarter inch down there and i think that's because you know the bulk of the plow right here in the middle the i don't even know what you call that part but whatever the heavy part it's more weight in the middle of the plow so of course it's going to wear that little bit of edge out quicker let's say it's going to wear it out out here toward the end and um, it's just time it's done it since day one so, since the plow's been brand new it's just i don't know if it's because of this uh plastic it's not supposed to be as heavy maybe but there's just not as much weight out here on the end of the plow so the cutting edge don't don't wear out quite as fast as it does in there so we're going to go ahead and change it because it's it's time so you can see it's a pretty big difference uh a new one versus what you get with the uh one that's wore out here's my hand right here to the bottom and then there's my hand to that one now typical winter for us here in uh central north carolina you know we kind of we might get some snow and then we might not get some snow it just it just kind of all depends on the the winter we have but on i i, I don't know for the past 10 years i'd say average I'll go through one blade a year or one one cutting edge a year so it's not like it's a we don't get a terrible amount of snow but it just seems like when we do get it we get our share I don't I don't know how to word that but we we get enough for this area now I don't know if I'm doing this right or not I don't know what the snow pros up north do but I like to clean this off and then I'll soak it down with some WD-40 because that's going to be metal on metal. I'm just kind of thinking about it rusting for the long haul. I don't know if that's the proper thing to do or not. I've been doing it for years and this you can see this plow's lasted me quite a while 
I don't know the year that the Power VXT came out, but that's the year I bought this. So it's lasted me that long, so I guess it's working. I don't know. Let me get another battery. Alright, so this thing's got to go. I picked this up when I bought the plow. I don't know how long ago, and it's just not working out for me. I don't. It's supposed to keep the snow from rolling over the truck, uh, rolling over the plow, and it's supposed to keep it rolling forward and off to the side, but it just doesn't work near as good as the rubber deflectors. I've got a rubber deflector on another plow, and it works a lot better. So I got me a boss uh, deflector, and I'm going to take this thing off and, and put it on as well. So this, I'm pretty sure this is part of the plow. It didn't come with the uh, those guards or whatever you call them. So I'm gonna put it back on. Uh, the, the instructions for the rubber deflector say nothing about this being on or off. Uh, I'm thinking it's gonna help it to be a little more sturdy, a little more rigid. So I'm gonna put it back on. But I need to uh, cut the the belt first or the deflector then mount it up there with uh, some clamps and then drill all my holes because you see you got this kind of a special cut you have to make right here and you have to kind of angle it back in where the v is i got a 9-2 v blade so uh, i need to cut this thing uh, the right way so 54 and a half and then 57 three quarters and then i can cut it at an angle right there and i'll have my two separate pieces and we can roll on them And that's kind of what you're supposed to look like. see how this is gonna work not sure I want to cut it with something with a saw of any type so I want a good clean cut on it that seems to be doing pretty good get my leg out of the way that's a really good knife razor light Outdoor edge. You can get them at Lowe's, I think. It's like a razor blade, and you just pop this thing out and change your blade on it when you when you dull it up. There we go. That worked out pretty good. See if the other side will work out the same. There we go. I don't need that. 
all right so you can see i've kind of got it started here and of course you're supposed to line it up with the outside now i've got those other bolts back behind here holding that on so it's not letting it sit flush so i'm gonna do a section at a time move down take that bolt out do this section until i get down to the end that way i can hold this skin or plate or whatever you'll call it i can hold it good and steady while i'm drilling i am going to start off with a little bit smaller drill bit that way i can get right in the center Now these things are bad to the bone. This is the Dewalt uh, 20 volt XR, you know, impact thingamajiggy. And look at that, brand new uh, bolt. And of course that's probably half my fault. I, I probably run it down too hard, but it just snapped that brand new bolt like it wasn't nothing. Look at that. all right so tell me what i did wrong right there <laughs> dummy that one's upside down it needs to flip around so that the this long point is down here so give me a minute i'm just gonna flop that around yeah i'm gonna have a few holes at the bottom i care less uh i just don't have another full piece to recut so i i just gotta chalk it up for dumb a and get it right all right so that's a little bit better right there now yeah i've got a couple little holes down through there but i ain't really worried about that now one thing it's uh this kind of happens from time to time when you buy stuff but this uh this plate right here that it was missing one in the box so um called my buddy Corey over at Forsyth Moor in Winston-Salem. That's where I buy my snow plows and Ventrac and all that kind of stuff. And uh, he's sending me one of those uh, in the mail, so I can just pop that one on there tomorrow. But we're not going to push no snow with it right now, so that'll be okay. Hmm, that thing's on there. Day. By the power of Grayskull. Y'all remember that old cartoon, don't you? He man. He man. All right, so this kind of wraps around here like that. That's going to sit in there flat, sort of. Like so. Come around like that. So all I got to do is drill some holes, get it all matched up.
can kind of pull it down like that right there and get it kind of where you want it. Showing two bolts. One kind of about right up here, and one kind of down low. I'm gonna kind of get it about an inch in both ways. About right in there. That way it's got something to bite. So there you go like subscribe share all that cool stuff uh we're calling for a little snow this weekend so glad to have this thing on i've got uh two 60 inch grasshopper snow blowers i've got a 48 inch snow blower on the way grasshopper and i've got a 30 inch errands walk behind snow blower i'm supposed to pick up tomorrow so I'm looking forward to using that. If it snows, hopefully we miss it because we're way behind. Uh, got lots of work to do and I ain't got time to be pushing no snow. So either way, I got my snow plow right.